Greens and welcome to trying a new art style. Yes, we're going to learn how to tattoo for the first time. But Jackie, have you ever tattooed before? And the answer is absolutely not. Nope. I have no prior knowledge to tattooing. Going to learn it today, together. However, there is that one time I got a tattoo, which means I should know a lot, right? <laughs> if you're curious what my tattoo looks like, here it is. It's really completely massacred. It doesn't look good anymore. I should get it retouched. It's just a blob, really. I got it at this really dingy place that probably should not have been the place I got it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any tattoos and what is it of? I'm really curious, so I'll be reading your comments down below. In all honesty, as someone who loves to learn new art styles and craft styles, I figured tattoo was the most natural thing to try now. Because transfer papers were on sale on Amazon, I'm like, Hey, this sounds like a great idea. And so the natural progression of things went like this. So while I sat there hesitating like any normal human being would if whether I should get a tattoo kit or not, Salty Crafter took the keyboard away from me and she started to browse all over Amazon and found two very specific kits that had good ratings. Ah yes, look at that salty grin. The first kit she found is called a wormhole rotary tattoo machine for beginners. That one has four and a half stars out of over 400 reviews. And it looks simple enough because it looks like a pen. I say, probably not knowing what I'm getting myself into. And the other kit that really has me worried is this one here because it looks like a really old school type of tattoo making, I say. Not sure of what anything means. But again, it has 112 reviews and it seems to have four stars. So one thing I have to thank Salty Crafter for is the fact that she chose things that had high reviews. Thank you, Salty. I appreciate it. Shoot. But wait, before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends are huge supporters of this channel, so when you check them out, you're also directly helping me. For those of you who don't know Raid Shadow Legends, <coughs> It is a dark epic fantasy taking place in the world of Teleria where you're going to meet so many amazing champions and one of the first ones you're going to meet are Banner Lords. Banner Lords are basically medieval knights. Sprinkle in some arrogance and warlike type personalities. Despite the fact that they think they're on the good side, Ogrens, Lizardmen, and Skinwalkers would basically disagree. However, the rich story you're going to find in Raid Shadow Legends tells us that the lands of the Banner Lords were basically taken by non-humans and it's been kept through centuries of persecution with the help of the Sacred Order. Now with the Banner Lords weakened by the war of their king, it seems like the right time for these races to right an ancient wrong by basically whatever means necessary. I'd have to say my favorite Banner Lord has got to be Minaya. I mean, look at this snow white aesthetic absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention she's a support character. So you must be wondering what's new with Raid this month. They have a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities. We're talking special fusion events to get brand new legendary champions, more tournaments against other players, and so many more. They also released five new champions and each of them looks absolutely incredible. I really can't wait to get them. I mean look at them right here. So Raid's summer plans are just starting to heat up, pun intended. And there are huge updates coming soon, so there's really not a better time to start. So make sure you check my special links down below, because new players will get an epic hero Chonaru, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard. So you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get there. But be quick because these will only be available for 30 days right over here. And if you're in game, you can find my clan. And conveniently, here's a QR code for you to scan. Thank you, Raid, for sponsoring today's video. And of course, since we got tattoo kits, Amazon thought it was a great idea to recommend fake skin to practice on. So this is heavy. Don't kid yourself. It's um, quite the fake skin. The only thing about this fake skin is that the skin tone is really light. I would have loved to have something a little bit more of my skin tone, but I guess we'll go with what we got. All right, let's go ahead and unbox our first kit, this one here. I have no idea what's on the inside. It's been a while since I got it, but before we do that, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do lots of wacky adventures here. I am a professional moron. Don't do these things at home, just saying. All right, so here we go. This first one should be the most chal- It had good reviews, but I think I broke it. Yeah, I definitely broke the other one. All right, let's see 
see what we get. Ooh, oh my God. A lot of things to be intimidated by. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what this is. So we seem to be getting a good variety of inks over here. Power supplies. Still not sure. Quite a few things I'm going to have to learn on the way. What are these? Suddenly I'm regretting. I don't know if I'm going to use both machines in today's video, so let's just learn one thing at a time. If we have time, we'll use the second machine, otherwise we might have to try it in another video. This electrical wire looks like something I should be bringing down into the basement for other curricular activities. All right, so we have the tattoo machine. This is a coil. Okay, so this is called a, a coil machine. Oh my God. I wonder how noisy this is going to be. So we get two of them. I don't think we need both unless they're made for, oh, okay, that's, that's torn, thank you. They look the same. So you can tattoo with a friend. <laughs> All right, we have our power supply. And then last but not least here, what are you? Oh, the pedal. So kind of like a sewing machine. You can gauge, I guess, the speed. I'm not sure at <laughs> which the needle is gonna go in and out. I don't need this anymore. Oh, hey, look. They also gave us a fake skin to work on. It's a little darker than the one I have, so that's kind of cool. And I'm guessing this is transfer paper. That's what prompted me to buy the entire kit, because transfer paper. And instructions? Oh, yes, instructions. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna have to figure out how to put all this together now. All right, so first things first is we have to make sure that we are cleaned up. I'll be right back, I'm just gonna go wash my hands. A few minutes later. All right, so my hands are all washed. Probably shouldn't have wiped it on me or my vets. I'll be right back again. <laughs> a few moments later. Hands have been cleaned and dried on a proper towel now. And first things first, we have to press down the armature bar. Okay. And the space has to be two to three millimeters. I like how they explain things as though I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my God. Seems to be the needle tip and that little bar over here is what's supposed to be two to three millimeters. So if I press this down, it seems like it needs to be directly above it, but mine is diagonal. So do I need to move this? I think I understand why they gave us all these tools here because I'm going to actually have to unscrew this. Okay, I think this is what we're supposed to do, like so. Okay, I'm gonna screw it back in there. All right, so here it is. Our distance between these two pieces when it's pushed down is about two to three millimeters. But what I noticed is that this screw and this piece here are not aligned. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but we're gonna find out together. I'm going to guess in here is going to be the needles, perhaps? I think so. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the rest of the instructions in order to assemble all the bits and pieces. And hopefully we'll have something that's more or less working. All right, it's time for the needle. Oh, there's more. That's quite a bit of needles. Oh my God, I have goosebumps right now. I am not a fan of needles to say the least. Are there any differences? Good to know that they expire in 2025. And according to the instructions, oh, the tip should match the needle. What tip size did I take? I'm guessing this is 3R. This is 5R. Okay, so it's gotta be this one. Five and three. Okay, so let's do the three. I'm so nervous right now. I'm doing everything with my face like this. Oh yes, look at that. How do I know how, oh. So here's the tip and what it looks like. That's quite the thing. But the question is, how do I know how much it should stick out? Like this? It's odd because the instructions don't really give me very specific instructions. They say, just do it like this and then do it like that. And then put one of these things into the hoop like that. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it on the machine. This is very nerve wracking. Okay, I think this goes through here and this through here okay that's so far so good wait this how do i get this in here do i just oh 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 my little heart <laughs> don't slip there's sharp pointy things everywhere and we finally get an indication in the instructions at the end how long the needle should stick out of the tip which is about two millimeters but no less than one so perfect that is two so i think we're in the right track i think now the only thing that's left is to put rubber bands but i'm not understanding them i think i get it 
So thanks to this video tattoo machine setup, because the instruction said put rubber bands around the entire thing. Like, what? Do I put it here? Do I put it there? Do I put it on my wrist? Instructions unclear. So I had to put the rubber bands basically from the needle to the back. And now we have the power supplies. And the red is going to go onto the copper part. Like so. And then this one in here. All right, that's nice and snug. And once again, the instructions tell me jack, because according to the instructions, this one that connects to the machine should go on the inside and the pedal should be on the outside. But when I look here, it seems to be the opposite. So it looks like this is the outside and the pedal is the inside, I think. And here, all right, let's plug it in and see what happens. When I tell you I didn't expect to put together a tattoo machine, that's an understatement. I thought it would come already ready, but okay. So everything has been plugged in. Now all I need to do is press on the pedal and no, let's turn the voltage up. No, let me plug those things in different ports. Let's press the button now. I don't know what's supposed to move and what not. Hello? Come on, no. I'm gonna troubleshoot, I'll get back to you. Oh, okay, so I have to be pressing down? That's so weird, what's going on here? I'm genuinely trying to understand, why is it that when I press down, it does that little sound, but it doesn't go anywhere. Anybody want me to tattoo them? I'm just gonna be keep poking ya. And as you'll see here, there's that contact. When I go into the fake skin, See, there's that contact right there. Well, it should be two to three millimeters. Let me try that again. So I made this gap much smaller by like one millimeter. So let's see if the two to three was too much and it really had to be more like a two. Let's go ahead and press the pedal. Holy shrimp. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It's working. Finally. Wow. Troubleshooting. I thought I could just come here and draw with an ink pen and no, I had to learn to become a tattoo technician before becoming an artist. Wow. I did not need that today. <laughs> but it works! Oh my god! Yes! Okay, let's test it on our fake skin. I'm not gonna put any ink just yet. I just kinda wanna have a feel for it. Let's go ahead and try and make a circle. If by circle I meant a peach, or a butt is clearly what I meant, then I think I did pretty good. This is so shaky, my poor hands. It's like, okay, I got this, I'm gonna try. I don't know why it's doing a black transfer. There's no ink on this. If any of you grains know why there's black as an outline, even though I didn't put any ink whatsoever, let me know why. Now I want to get into the fun part, which is actually using the machine. So I'm going to put a couple of drops of the ink. I don't know. Oh, that is thick. How much ink does it need? And does the ink dry? And this here is the sample that we did. I have no idea, again, why it was this color, so let's dip the tip. Get your mind out of the gutter, please. This is not that kind of show, okay? No. All right, and we have our needle going. Oh, that, is that splatter? Oh, yes it is. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't think that's the ink. You know what, let's go with red. I think that's gonna be a better gauge. Okay, and let's do this. It's definitely gonna splatter. Should I be wiping this? I can see some of the red, but I just don't understand why it's giving me this black color. This is frustrating. Do I need to clean the needle? Let me try that. I have way more respect for, for tattoo artists now. Holy carp. All right, so here it is after being cleaned. Let's see what we get. Oh. Oh, that is messy. But at least we have red. <laughs> That's a lot of splash. Oh my god. I didn't know I was doing pointillism. All right, we seriously need, need to get serious. Wow, I can't even be serious when I want to be serious. I'm going to watch a video of how to pull the ink out 
and then how to properly put it in. And then we're gonna do some exercises, and then I'm gonna do a piece of artwork, okay? Okay. You grains have no idea how difficult it is, at least for someone who's a beginner, to find the exact video I'm looking for. I'm just looking of how to pick up ink into the needle. And the next best video I found is called how to clean your tattoo needles between colors because I'm guessing this is going to show me how to pick it up. And this video is by Art Something. So let's say you were over here and you were in your darkest black. Oh, okay, hang on. Let's bring that a little back. All right, the machine is on and she's purring. So let's say you were over here and you were in your darkest black. Okay, so it seems like I've been doing this wrong. I don't just dip it in like I'm inking or doing calligraphy. No, I have to turn the machine on. Okay, so we're gonna try that. And you want to go to like a mid, it's not too big a deal. Oh, okay, so we have to keep it on also while we remove the ink. I guess the vibration is important for both of these processes. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Drip, 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 drip. And you should be pretty well good to go to jump into your mid tone or whatnot. Perfect. Okay, let's try that out because I want to do some exercises with this. So we're going to take a new tube over here. There you go. And let's go ahead and put the black ink again. So in case some of you grains are wondering what happened to my other black ink, it dried. The answer is the ink does dry. So don't don't take a lunch break. <laughs> All right, what, what's going on here? No, don't tell me this dried. This was capped. Yeah, there's liquid in there. Oh, there you are. There we go, nice and gloopy. Oh my God, this is really hard, really hard to squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna put a fairly good amount, so there you go. Oh my god, my thumbs. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. That's okay, we've we've made mistakes. I'm going to live with the consequences. There. Alright, my foot is on the it's on, it's on the pedal now. Okay. teach me to try and tattoo through a lens. I'd like to see you try to do anything through a lens. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Let me clean this up. Oh, we're gonna try. <laughs> All right, so my guess is that whatever ink was in here is probably dry. I'm gonna hold this down this time and try and clean it up. There you go. That was pretty satisfying. All right, let's try and re-ink it. Suddenly, I'm really happy that they've included all of these little cap things because I'm going through them. I don't know if they're reusable, probably not if you're actually doing a real tattoo. So, and I do have extra skins here. Oh wow, the splatter's real. <laughs> okay, let's put more ink and not mess up this time. Be very, very gentle. I don't know how much is too much. I have no idea if this quality of ink is even good for human skin, but it's off of Amazon. Don't take my word for it. Okay, so, where's the pedal? Okay, the other thing I noticed is that there's a dial over here that gauges the voltage. So obviously the higher, the more noise it makes. Let's hear that. And if I put it lower, So I'm wondering, how do you know how much voltage you need? No instructions came with this kit, by the way. It's like, you bought this, you gotta figure it out. But if I'm going to go through the fake skin, this low voltage is just tearing the skin. So I'm gonna go with a medium voltage. And I think that's doing something. All right, let's try and pick up ink again. And be very, very careful this time, okay? Pay attention now. I think I picked up some ink now. Let's try on the fake skin. Well, okay. okay maybe it's supposed to splatter. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! We're getting ink, ink, ink lines! I know it's splattery, I know it's gross, but this is the first step to actually getting something done. So maybe my rubber band over here should be tighter because the instructions did say two actual loops of this. I thought it would be too tight because I don't think I could make two loops of this. So let's see if that helps. Yeah, that's definitely better. I wonder if you can wipe off from these fake skins. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> it seems like, well, yeah, it is in there, but not quite. Do I have to go over again? Let's see how that looks. 
definitely thicker. Okay, we're getting somewhere. All right, so I've made a double over here and a third one. Let's see if it still gives us spillage. And pedal. Oh. And down. Oh. Oh my God, that is minimal spillage. Oh, whoops. I think maybe now we have too much tension. You know what, maybe we need more voltage. Watch that be the last thing I know before I messed up real bad. Oh, there we go. What? Oh my God, that is clean. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. Holy carp, the journey just to get here. And now look at how deep and dark our line is. It is beautifully, a, a, just a beautiful black, oh my God. Very minimal spillage. I can live with that. Let's go ahead and try to make some shapes. So I'm going to draw a couple of them with a pencil and see if I can trace them. So my ink is in, everything is as it should be. Let's go and see how we can trace them. Where's the ink? There we go. Why is the power? Why? One of the things I noticed about this machine is that sometimes the power will work, other times... It won't. So, if you're ever thinking about getting this machine, don't. It has nothing to do with the rubber band because I even removed a rubber band. Why won't you work? Come on, please. I just need to make a shape. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm not joking. Sometimes it'll work, other times it won't. I just want to complete one project. Please, just one project. Huzzah! Not bad. A little shaky, but definitely way better than what we started with. All right, let's see if we can do some nice rounded sides. So far, so good. This is really challenging. Oh my god, no, the skin is moving. Holy fart. I think I'm getting dry on ink. In all honesty, this is really fun. I didn't think I would have this much fun tattooing. I'm sure I would have, have even more fun. Wow, I can't even talk anymore because I'm so frustrated. If I weren't so frustrated. Imagine how much more fun that would be. So moral of the story, this is definitely a low-end machine. Great for practicing if it can work. But let's do a little bit more of a level up and test out each color as a line. All right, so here are our... Oh, 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 there we go. Here are all the colors. This is not black. This is a dark purple. So I feel like I have a pretty decent grasp as a beginner and I feel like I could probably make a line for each one. Let's start with our lighter colors because it's going to be easier just to clean that way. I'm not sure if the yellow is going to show too much on the surface, but let's go ahead and color on the inside of this triangle. Oh, that does show. Not bad. Still a lot of splashback. I'm working on it. I think I'm probably picking up too much ink and let's clean it up. I don't know why. This is really satisfying. And according to online tutorials, I should be more than fine just going straight into the next color. All right, let's go with red. And are we getting a lot of splash? Not bad. I feel like I may have wiped it all, but it's leaking on this side it's because I have too much water. And test number two. Oh, not bad. And clean up. Next, let's pick up green. Oh, that is juicy. I know I'm technically supposed to wipe, but I'm pretty paranoid that the wiping is just going to get on the inside of this fake skin. But I promise I'll try after I'm done. And the satisfying cleaning. Dark blue. I'm really realizing that removing a lot of the excess is very helpful, but sometimes I remove too much. Let's see if that's the case right now. Very nice. A little too <laughs> unstable. I have no idea where I ink. I mean, let's see if I dab a little bit, if that helps. Oh, not bad. Okay, we can get here. And a little dab. Very nice. And of course, our cleanup. And now for point bowl. Oh, that is way too intense. 
Not bad. I'm really hoping it's in there. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not. There. Alright, let's go ahead and see a wipe. Actually, first let's clean our brush. Oh my god, come on. It's what I'm saying is sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. What if I do this? What if I press down? There you go. All right, so now is the moment of truth to see how poorly I actually, you know, <laughs> inked it. Cause to me it kind of looks good, but let's see how bad it looks. Hey, very patchy and very blurry, but not as bad I as, as I expected it. Look at that. Let's remove all the excess. Not bad at all for a beginner. You can definitely see where I punctured in for the lines and the gaps in between. Part of me is wondering if I should be going in diagonally instead of down straight. But you know what that- Bruh. I dropped the adapter. Not that it wasn't broken already, but I'm obviously breaking it more. So what I'm going to do now, my confidence went from I had to put a whole machine together, to troubleshooting, to figuring out the ink, to doing an artwork now. I feel like my confidence really has come up pretty high. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and draw something that I wouldn't mind tattooing on myself which is always those weird characters that I like doing. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. Let's see how that looks. So we are ready to go ahead and put our ink down, but my question is, do we do the coloring first and then the outlining, or do we outline first and then color? So according to TattooMagic.info, the basic sequence are simple. Colors have to be applied from the darkest to the lightest. So that's why the outline is first and then coloring. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I'm having a hard time getting the machine to actually work consistently. Sometimes I have to actually push the needle into the fake skin for it to start. And it's not giving me a consistent flow. And when I checked on Amazon, when I was curious about what are the one star reviews, some people were saying the fact that yes, this machine sometimes loses power randomly. So it's not me. It seems like it's the machine and the power supply is just not reliable. So um, unlike paper where you can erase things, you have really have to have a very steady hand with the machine going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and your hand trying to make the line, if you oops, that's it. Tattoo artists, you're amazing, because the one oops is oopsie, is, you can't fix that, it's in there. So I'm going to guess the next thing that we're going to have to do is blend our colors to get orange. So I was wondering if ink is blendable in terms of the colors, I'm going to guess yes. So we're gonna put a little bit of that yellow because we need a nice orange. And don't worry, we're gonna do the entire wipe down once the whole thing is done. And we're gonna put, let's put one drop of red and then do a little stirry stirry. Well, that one's gone. Here's one that's not dramatic. Wow, I just put one drop. I think we're gonna need way more yellow. And here is our pretty and deep orange. Let's go ahead and test it out. So I think I understand why we need, need to remove some of the excess that's hanging out on top. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, I hear you. Stop yelling at me. I got this. I'm gonna put a little dab right on top. There. Well, nothing came off. I'll just keep going. Oh my god! So far, so good. I know it looks like a crayon kind of drawing because I have the black kind of mixing up with the orange, but I feel like maybe this quality of skin is not that great. So maybe there's a lot of bleeding. You know what? I don't know anything. All I know is I'm genuinely having a lot of fun. Does anyone want to come over and get a tattoo by me? No, no, no. I do not want you to get an infection, so do not, by any means, let me tattoo you. Although I'd be tempted to tattoo myself. Very tempted. And the remainder of the colors are basically the same thing, where I'm mixing up if needed. For the yellow, I just went with yellow. For the lips, I went with a pink. I tried to take a lot less red this time. And for the white, it's true. I totally forgot to actually swatch it, but here's white. Oh man, I'm trying to get rid of some of those black inks, and it's just smudging. That's what I'm saying, like this ink, oh my god, and this fake skin. 
skin is just smudgy. We're gonna go and remove it all with more of the water and rubbing alcohol mixture, but for now, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. So here is my end result. I didn't wipe it yet, so we're going to see how much I really messed up putting the ink into the fake skin. And again with that, I do have the mixture of the rubbing alcohol and water, so I'm very nervous. I have no idea how long it's supposed to stay on there, but we're gonna find out together how poorly I inked. So I'm gonna try and remove as much of these smudges like this as possible. Hopefully it's not that porous and it's not just gonna stain the actual surface. Let's do a test up here and see what that looks like. Oh no, oh, that's, that's, oh my God. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. Oh my God, okay. So far so good. Just go ahead, oh, in segments. Oh my God, this is so scary. Oh, this is really going for it. I'm trying not to make it too wet. Oh my gosh. I feel like it might be too much. I feel like, oh no, please. No, 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 no. No, 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 let's not ruin the art. This is not going as planned, not one bit. Help, someone let me know what I did wrong. Obviously a lot. I did not expect it to come off that much, especially with such a low ratio of rubbing alcohol. Oh no, it was looking so good. Aww, it was looking so good. I'm sad. I worked really hard on this. Well, even tattoos are not forever because they need touch-ups. <laughs> Let's just keep the other one in mind on screen now. So I absolutely love the way that the original one turned out. Obviously, the mixture of rubbing alcohol and water was not a great idea, despite the fact that that's what it said online. Maybe I misunderstood it. I'm definitely open to learning more things, and I'm so excited to try the other tattoo pen, so make sure that you do leave a thumbs up. That way I know that you are interested. And whatever I did wrong, let me know down below as well. So many of you who want to say, But Janky, you're doing it wrong. I know. This is me experimenting broadening my horizons that look look there's my horizon I'm broadening oh oh it's getting bigger getting bi oh that's quite the horizon if you want to watch more wacky adventures make sure you check up here and if you want to watch a cash or trash make sure you check down here until then I will see you grains in the next video